What's going on internet? IG here again today. We're going to be looking at Uber Student 4.1, codenamed Epicurus. So Uber Student, I've covered a few of their releases in the past, but obviously they had a rev over the new year, and uh, now here we are sitting with the latest version, which is 4.1. It is based off Ubuntu 14.04, which is a great version of Ubuntu to base a distribution off. And uh, basically this distribution was originally designed with the high school student, tertiary student in mind. They've grown a little bit since then, and uh, to be honest, a lot of the tools and, and tweaks that they offer uh, could really be applied to many different Linux users. Uh, the reasons that you would run this distribution uh, that, it, that really set it apart are the documentation and all of the little tweaks and tips that they give you uh, in order to be more efficient with how you get stuff done. Uh, so first of all, with the desktop, just right off the bat here, you've got a little conky telling you uh, what some of your system resources are doing. So it's a nice little touch. And in case you're wondering, no, this is not GNOME or Mate. It is XFCE as your desktop environment of choice. Nice and lightweight, nice and traditional. There's no big learning curve here. If any, if anyone has used any of the Linux desktops of the past, they're going to be feeling right at home here. Uh, and also, even if you've never used Linux before, it is not that hard to get your head around it. Applications, places, such as your file structure, and then of course your settings, which brings up kind of your control panel as it were. Uh, you'll also notice the look and feel. While it's not my personal favorite, uh, it does harken back to a long since dead Windows XP. Uh, so take that as you will. Uh, obviously, it's going to be a nice familiar touch there for anyone who's coming to Linux for the first time. Now, there are quite a few other tweaks that uh, Uber Student do to make this more accessible for the new user. Nearly in every category here, they have a documentation. Uh, they have a documentation uh, subcategory in the menu. And they've got lots of these different cheat sheets for uh, keyboard shortcuts. Now, I am a huge fan of keyboard shortcuts. And half the time, uh, I just don't use them because I don't know what they are. And I can't be bothered Googling them, uh, Googling for them. Uh, but having all of the keyboard shortcuts here presented in a nice list uh, really is a wonderful addition. Um, and they do this for a lot of the different applications that they have, especially the more uh, keyboard friendly ones. So uh, going through the list of applications here, there's so many here that I really don't really like, I don't have time to go through them all and what each one does. But basically they give you all of the applications that you're gonna need in order to be productive and, uh, and in order to, I guess, connect with all the different um, products and services that you might already be using as a student. Um, so you can see right off the bat here, we've got um, cloud storage such as Dropbox and all of those sort of things, the integration for those built in straight away. You've got file searching and archiving, backups, um, all of the important stuff. So you've got your choice of text editors here as well, which is nice. You've got alarm clocks, you've got um, all tray, which is basically a little tool that allows you to dock any application you want up into the system tray. A nice tweak, we used to see it quite a bit on, uh, on older distributions. Uh, obviously, that has since been phased out, but it's here in Uber Student, which uh, which is great to see. Like we've talked about, they've also got some web apps. Uh, now, they used to have a bunch of these intermixed in with the local apps, and it made it a little bit confusing as to what was locally installed and what was a web app. But now they have them in a separate subcategory, which is nice, uh, and all of these are actually very useful tools. So. Uh, you can send fax over email, um, you can build your resumes, and also the Uber Student Zazzle Store. I have absolutely no idea what that's about, but I believe it's about supporting the Uber Student cause with a bit of their merchandise. So in education, you can see there is a massive list here. You've got ebook managers and readers, and of course, web apps that go along with that. Uh, you've got personal finance managements, presentations, and a lot of these tools in here are not just your standard LibreOffice tools. Uh, they have got, actually got quite a bit of cool stuff in here that can really give your presentations a bit more pizzazz. Uh, when it comes to research and writing, they've got the Lix document processor out of the box as well, which is a great addition because Lix has a lot more tools in it than what your standard LibreOffice does. It's a what you see is what you get uh, editor. So basically, it's a, it's, a, it's a latex style. So if consistency in formatting is your thing, then definitely you want to check out Lix, the, uh, the document processor there. Um, also in study aids here, you've got lots of thesauruses and dictionaries that are locally installed on the machine. 
And you've also got some great calendar and time tracking tools in there as well to keep track of what you're doing. Obviously, you wouldn't be a student unless you were killing time with some games as well. And so they do bundle in a couple of games as well as two of the arguably best game management uh, suites in the business, the DJL Game Manager, uh, which will give you mostly free and open source games. And of course, Steam for all of the games that have come to Linux since its launch. Uh, when it comes to graphics, again, you're pretty much covered here with all of the main graphics tools you could want or need in the open source world. And again, you've also got a few extra graphics apps that you can install uh, just to um, just to kind of round out that category a little bit more. They don't install them by default, so it doesn't get too bloated. But having said that, this distribution is fairly weighty. Uh, again, under internet, you've pretty much got all the tools you're going to want or need. Um, some nice inclusions here are uh, some of these social media management such as Hootsuite and also the instant messenger uh, web apps as well. The rest of these are pretty, uh, are pretty stock standard when it comes to um, good internet applications on a distribution. It's pretty light on in the multimedia department but again you can install extra multimedia apps uh, through clicking on that link there. Uh, now in the system of course you've got Plenty of configuration options here and it's great to see that they have busted those up into various categories uh, just so that you can uh, customize various parts of your distribution as well as a major overall settings panel that will give you kind of an overview of what you have available to customize. Uh, obviously there are quite a few options here and, uh, and another thing that I do like to see is the update manager that, they, that these guys use is the Linux Mint update manager which we all know and love and uh, they've really taken the best of what a lot of Ubuntu based distributions have to offer and have bundled it in here in a very uh, just a very traditional bread and butter distribution uh, that really gives a lot more than what it uh, than what it seems on the front. Uh, some of the some of the top links that they have on the panel here are pretty relevant if you're going to be a student you've got your web browser you've got your note taker you've got your free plane which is a, a basically it's a it's a mind mapping application so basically you can just dump what you're thinking about with your project, whatever it might be. You've also got Zotero, which is basically a, a research compilation. Uh, it's basically a bibliography manager. Um, you can throw all your sources into Zotero and it will uh, it'll be able to export a nice easy bibliography for you complying to whatever standard you, that your tertiary education or, or high school might require. And of course, good old LibreOffice, the chief of the open source document management. I suppose if we were to have a quick look at system resources, you can have a look that we're using about 500 meg of RAM here uh, out of the box, which actually isn't too bad considering how much stuff this distribution has going on in the background. And again, owing it to that nice lightweight XFCE desktop. So I guess in the too long didn't watch version, which you've obviously watched till the end, this is a distribution for anyone who is interested in uh, in studying or has productivity as something that is high on their agenda when it comes to using a computer. Um, this is the sort of thing that you would want to see rolled out on uh, school computers or even in tertiary education uh, departments. Just purely on the fact of the amount of apps that they have pre-installed that are immensely helpful in studying, uh, I have used this distribution before as a student and it is definitely worth your time. It manages your resources pretty well so you'll be able to run this on pretty dated hardware and obviously it's pretty easy to navigate like you've seen thus far. So let me know what you think about Uber Student down in the comments below and if you like what you see here and you want to see more then definitely subscribe to the Infinitely Galactic channel and give the video a thumbs up if it helped you out. Well that'll be all from me and I will see you in the very next video. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you next time.